Hi folks, I'm Hub Arkish for ChicagoSunTimes.com and Monday, January 19th, a big day in Chicago Bears history as they introduced their new head football coach, John Fox, and what a lot of people aren't talking about is there was even more news at Hallis Hall than that, but let's start with the big story. John Fox met the media and here's what jumped out about his first day on the job. Unlike Lovey Smith, who was always uncomfortable at the podium, always uncomfortable with the media, and unlike Mark Tressman, who was flat out awkward at times and just didn't seem to have great people skills, we found out that John Fox is more than a veteran NFL football coach. He's a guy's guy. He's a guy that Bears fans are going to love. He speaks in plain terms, sometimes even some D's and dumbs, and he goes at it like a football coach should. He talked about the same things that Ryan Pace talked about a week ago, about getting players first focusing on toughness, on integrity, on character, on instincts, and then worrying about the talent. He talked about the way to run a locker room is just being honest. He said, I'm sorry, but that's me. I'm painfully honest. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. He talked about how meaningful it was for him to have the Chicago Bears job as the head football coach. He's already been the head coach in Carolina, the head coach in Denver. Said nothing to dismiss or belittle those jobs, but said, this is the Chicago Bears. Kind of compared it to the New York Yankees in baseball, saying, the franchise that everybody wants to work for. When asked about working with one of the youngest GMs in the NFL, actually the youngest GM in the NFL, Fox immediately said it's not about age, it's about the relationship that we can work out. Said he's been unbelievably impressed to date with how ready Pace seems to be for the job. There is no question that in his first day on the job, he won over the media, he will win over fans. So now it's time to set about the business of starting to win some of those football games. And to that end, the Bears made two more very important hires for First on Sunday, it was announced that Josh Lucas, formerly with Ryan Pace in New Orleans with the Saints, will come to Chicago as the Director of Player Personnel. As a matter of fact, he is already in Mobile, Alabama, getting ready to work with Bear Scouts to oversee the Senior Bowl this week. Ryan Pace talked about Lucas and said an invaluable hire. He is a graduate of Harvard, graduated cum laude as a matter of fact, but it's not really a Theo Epstein, Saber Metrics type comparison. It's just a young man who played football at Harvard. He's gone the same path with the New Orleans Saints as what Ryan Pace followed and is now ready for the next step. Pace says it's an invaluable hire. He's thrilled to have him and believes that he's got his personnel department moving in the right direction. We also have the hiring of Jeff Rogers as the new special teams coach of the Chicago Bears. He was with John Fox in Denver. And if you watch the Packers-Seattle game on Sunday, you might argue that he's the most important hire of all. Now, he did a really nice job in Denver. Their special teams amongst the best, not the best, but very good during the tenure of John Fox. And he comes to a good situation in Chicago where we know Robbie Gold is going to be the place kicker for the foreseeable future. And Patrick O'Donnell, who was the rookie punter this year, named all-rookie, they're set there as well. They'll have to look at the return game a little bit, but you've got the first domino to fall as John Fox puts his coaching staff together. All things considered, it was a good Monday for the Chicago Bears. As fans see the press conference with John Fox, they're going to be very impressed. They're going to believe that he is one of their own, a guy who's got the Bears written all over him. Hopefully that will eventually turn into wins. For the best in sports, for the best in Bears coverage 24-7, you want to stay right where you are, right here at ChicagoSunTimes.com.